So, here I am, Veda Trowbridge, with the Michigan Minute. So, for this, we are going to be talking about the NCAA Wrestling Championships, Session 1. Every, every single guy got a win, except for Michael D'Agostino, but hopefully he can do really well in the wrestlebacks. And then Willie Wan got a takedown in his match, which then secured him the victory later on. And we have had three guys get us bonus points. These three guys are Shane Griffith, who got us a tech fall with riding, tech fall thanks to riding time. Lucas Davidson, who got a pin. And Jaden Bullock, who unfortunately the other guy had to have a bunch of forfeit, but hopefully he's doing just fine now. Go Blue! Hello, this is Beta Strawbridge back, back with another Michigan Minute. Today we are going to be covering the second session of the NCAA Wrestling Championships. So, on a good note, all of our guys survived. So that means that Michael D'Agostino, or as my mother calls him, Harry, Beta. did win his first match. However, unfortunately, we do have three guys going to what I have now dubbed the wrestle-ups because we want them to wrestle up not backwards. But that also means that we have five guys going on to the quarterfinals. These five guys are Cool Shoes Dylan Ragston, Austin Gomez, Cam Amin, Shane Griffith, and Lucas Davison. And on an even better note than that, I rode public transportation for the first time and survived. So I got a sticker. Go Blue! This is Veda Trowbridge back with another Michigan Minute. Today is the big day, day two of the NCAA Wrestling Championships. Now you might be wondering what this means, but this means that today we're going to figure out who is going to be an All-American and who, unfortunately, is not going to be an All-American. But I would like to start today off by shouting out some of the guys who got us bonus points yesterday. First of all, Austin Gomez got us a pin, and second, Lucas Davison had a major decision 8-0 thanks to writing time. And our team points are currently at 22. We are in fourth place and we are tied with North Carolina. And then, on a more personal note, I am terrified of escalators, but T-Mobile Center has a lot of escalators, and thanks to that, I'm getting slightly better at them. Go Blue! This is Vayner Trowbridge, back with another Michigan Minute. The session three of the NCAA Wrestling Championships has concluded, and the results are in. We have five guys that are still alive. Kim Amin is currently in right now down the wrestle because he's wrestling upwards, not backwards. The four, we have four guys that are currently in the semifinals. Those four guys are Cool Shoes, Dylan Ragason, Austin Gomez, Shane Griffith, who had a very good bout, and Lucas Davidson, who by far had the most amazing bout of the entire day. It was the, down to the last few seconds, we were down by one point. Lucas Davidson got a takedown, was barely in the circle. Coach Bormat and Coach Bulliard both went crazy, as well as the entire stadium. Iowa State threw the brick, but we all knew that it was a takedown. The applause could be heard for at least two miles away. It was definitely an amazing bout, and if you can watch it, you definitely should. Tonight is sure to be extremely intense. Go Blue! Hello, this is Veda Trowbridge, back to another Michigan Minute. We have just finished session four of the NCAA Wrestling Championships for Division One. We have four guys that are still alive. Two guys are currently wrestling to hopefully get third place. Those two guys are Dylan Ragson, who had a very aggressive and clean match, but due to some uncalled stalls that had even my wonderful mother dearest swearing, he did not manage to make it into the finals. And Shane Griffith, and then we have two guys who are wrestling in the finals tomorrow night. Those guys are Austin Gomez, who scrambled very well. And as I said, in his yellow, in his yellow singlet, he scrambled so well that he looked like scrambled eggs. And Lucas Davison, who, as always, had a very good match. That's it for the Michigan Minute. Go Blue! Hello, this is Veda Trowbridge, back with another Michigan Minute today is the day of the finals, the final day. After this, there is no more NCAA wrestling championships, well no. There will be just a year from now. So we are currently at 64 and a half team points. Uh, so we are in second place, but my, as my wonderful mother dear said, we're kind of in our own sort of, fir sort of first place because Penn State has such an ungodly, ungodly score that we can kind of say that we got our own first place. 
So yeah, hopefully everyone wins their matches. So we have two third places and two first places. That's all for this Michigan Minute. Go Blue. Hello, this is Veda Trowbridge, back to another Michigan Minute. The first session of the third day of the NCAA Wrestling Championships has concluded. We are currently in second place with seven with 71 team points. Cool Shoes Dylan Ragson got fifth place and Shane Griffith got third place. Shane Griffith gained third place is especially cool because he's a senior and so he ended his college career on a win. His match was also very exciting. That's it for this Michigan Minute. Go Blue! Hello, welcome back. This is Beta Trobich, back to another Michigan Minute. So, the final session of the NCAA Wrestling Championships for Division One has concluded. Didn't go quite how we wanted it to, but they still did amazing. Lucas Davidson, 10th seed, but he got second place, which is amazing. And Austin Gomez, we will be seeing this summer in the Paris Olympics, wrestling for Mexico. I'm really proud of this team, both of the guys who made it here and the guys back in Michigan. They all did amazing. But now, unfortunately, I have a confession to make. I think I might have willed Michigan to have third place in team points because I was really hoping that Vito would win in the match against Dayton Fix. And that's just because I don't really like the way that Dayton Fix wrestles. So Vito won and it pushed Cornell into second place, but Michigan still got third, which is way better than I expected considering how we weren't even supposed to be in the top 10. That's just because Michigan's awesome. Go blue.